Hey, what's up guys? Jay the Sting right here again on another Wicked Wednesday here on the House of Horror. And today I'm reviewing Cairo, or the English title Pulse. And this is a uh, Japanese horror film I've been wanting to review on the channel for quite a while. I've just got like a big stack of uh, movies I want to review on the channel and I finally got down to this one. I don't think we reviewed a lot of uh, Japanese horror films on the channel or a lot of Asian horror films on the channel, but... I want to try to go ahead and do a few more of those. I am a big fan of uh, Japanese horror and Asian horror in general. And uh, this film came out in 2001. And this was... This is before The Ring came out, the American version of The Ring. And I think this is like three years after Ringu, which kind of started it all, uh, came out. The, uh, you know, people call like the, the long black hair horror film. This is... Really not one of those, but you could probably put it into that category. It's a, a ghost film, obviously. But, um, yeah, this is directed by uh, Kiyoshi Kurosawa. And when you hear that last name, you probably automatically think of Akira Kurosawa. And he's actually not related to Akira Kurosawa at all. But uh, he is a great director in his own right. And I've seen quite a few of his films. And some, some other ones I would recommend are uh, Cure, uh, Sentence, or... Sea, sea Ants and uh, Doppelganger is probably my, my favorite one of his films and then also this film if you haven't seen it but uh, yeah, Doppelganger is a, a great film he's a really great director and he uh, these are all different types of films by the way they're not all just horror films and he doesn't just direct in one genre like a lot of directors do but he, uh, he has great range and is able to direct quite a few different types of films but um, I'm going to spare you the pronunciations on some of the uh, Japanese uh, Japanese actors in this film. I'll, I'm going to post them below. So if you're interested in who stars in this film, look below. I'm going to try not to butcher their names. So <laughs> I'm going to spare you that. Uh, but yeah, this film, it uh, follows a bunch of Japanese college students. It's basically what it's about. And it uh, starts with the, uh, the death of one of their friends. His name is Taguchi. And Taguchi is found dead, and it's thought that he, he hung himself. So all of his friends are kind of dealing with his death and his suicide. And eventually, some of his friends start seeing him and, you know, seeing his uh, body, you know, kind of his shadow, his figure appear in certain areas. And, you know, he, he says, uh, I think he says, help me to them in uh, Japanese. And, uh, you know, that's that's really when the ghost stuff starts and, I'm going to not go very deep into the plot here. The film is essentially about ghosts have found a way to uh, get into our dimension through through electronics. So this film is um, highly based around computers, and this was 2001. The Internet was still new, so most of the Internet is dial-up, and you, hear, you get to hear that cool uh, dial-up Internet sound quite a few times in the film. But, um, yeah, and then... From that point on, the friends start dying, and then the other friends are, you know, trying to figure out what's going on. So I don't really want to spoil a whole lot of the film, so I'm just going to leave it at that. But um, this is a really suspenseful film, and some of you guys may know I'm the main kind of horror I enjoy the most is really sus really suspenseful film, and it's not the jump scares which is in most modern horror films these days. This this film. It, it, it builds suspense by, um, I mean, you get to watch it all unfold in the camera. It's, it slowly develops. I mean, you get to see ghosts in the background, and they're, you know, they're in the shot for quite a little while, and I think that that's the creepiest part to me. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, um, the, uh, from the, from the very first scare in the film with Taguchi, you get to see him, it's, uh, Early on in the film, it's not really a, a big spoiler, but you get to see him, um, you know, dead hanging. You know, look like he hung himself. From that point on, like you just have a really, a really uneasy feeling throughout the film, and you know that's that's kind of hard to do. But you just really, it's kind of hard to do from a director's standpoint. But it's you really just, you know, you you know something's not right from that moment on throughout the film, and uh, you never really have a, a feeling of you know relief throughout the film you're constantly you know feeling that that uh feeling of you know unease um 
Yeah, and, and the director, I don't know if this is just the, the copy that I have, but it's, it's really dark, and a lot of the scenes are shot really dark and almost murky. And uh, I think that, that really helps add to the suspense. Like, even when they go outside, it's, it's you know, overcast. It's never, like, bright sunshine. And the characters, when they, uh, they're trying to keep the, you know, the evil spirits out of the room, keep the electronic signals out of the room they use, it's bright red duct tape is what they put around the doors and the windows and everything to kind of keep the spirits out. And uh, that's, it really contrasts well with the rest of the dark, uh, the dark elements of the picture. Really, really cool look there. And uh, also uh, the way the director uses uh, or keeps the suspense built is he uses a lot of wide shots like a lot of wide angle lens shots and he shows you the entire background like the character will be close and you'll get to see all the stuff going on behind him like the entire room and you get to see you know ghosts walking around the room and stuff like that which really creepy you know kind of gives you the goosebumps and like I said it's not a lot of the jump scare type stuff and you know I think that's cool I think jump scares are easy and they're cheap and you know you make a loud you put a loud sound and a quick jump cut, you know, together, and you've got a jump scare. And, uh, you know, they're easy to do. They're cheap. And and I don't think they have a lot of uh, rewatch potential films with a lot of those. But, uh, yeah, it's a really cool film. Uh, a few of the things I didn't like about the film, it, it is almost two hours long. And I really think it's kind of a slow build, especially... Um, a lot of you guys may not like this film because it is a slower type of film but uh, I think they could have shaved off a good 20-25 minutes of this film fairly easily uh, it's it's a lot of shots of like traveling and stuff like that which I know it is trying to, to add to the bleak feeling of the film but you know they, they probably could have shaved some of that down and you know probably made around an, an hour and a half you know hour 40 minutes would have been a good time for this film and uh this film does use a little bit of CGI, and of course, 2001, it's kind of dated CGI, and you know, that's, that's another complaint I have about the film. CGI is not that great, but you know, I can excuse that because of the time that it, that it was made. But uh, yeah, it's a great film. I definitely recommend you guys check it out. You know, get you a bucket of popcorn and some friends, and make sure you turn the lights out and watch this one. It'll definitely give you some scares. And uh, yeah, check it out. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.